Nepal, trafficking has deep roots. Dating back to the practice of Indian kings bringing girls back from Nepal after their hunting expeditions in the Himalaya. This practice progressed into an industry to the point that in some parts of Nepal there are no teenage girls left in communities. They've all been sold into the sex trade. Because of this, she has saved works in both rural and urban areas to prevent, rescue, and restore women and girls from trafficking. In order to change the pattern of trafficking, she is safe focuses heavily on prevention. Prevention looks like equipping Nepali women to educate others in their community about the realities of exploitation. <laughs> Because poverty plays such a key role in a family's decision to sell their daughter, we work distinctively through our income generating goat program. In this program, a girl is given a few goats, which she learns to raise and sell. As she brings in income, we see her family change their perception of her value as she provides an alternative source of income. <laughs> In Nepal, rescue looks like work at our border stations on the Indian border. We train young Nepali women to identify and intercept girls in the process of being trafficked. In India, I have been working for 3 years. 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 Restoration looks like our safe house, where girls are welcome into a community of love. Here girls are counseled, taught new vocational skills, and receive formal and non-formal education. So they're empowered to go out and live lives of freedom and faith. Going forward, the need remains to buy more goats to involve more young girls at risk for trafficking in our goat program. We also desire to continue to provide education, and vocational training opportunities to prevent trafficking and restore those who've been rescued. We know that alleviating poverty and the opportunities of education completely transform communities to prevent and break the cycle of trafficking. <laughs>